Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for those of you who are my Patreon supporters. I just released the new newsletter for you all. Look for it in your inbox. It's about trying to forecast out specifically in the beginning of Solar Cycle 25 when the amplification is going to begin. And it's my firm opinion that after July, we're going to see some real changes in the weather. As you can see, the split becomes wider and wider year upon year. I went into a lot more detail in the report. So double check on your inbox. Make sure you got that. If you didn't, please send me a message and I'll make sure that you get a copy. Also dovetailing with this, abrupteearthchanges.com. This amazing free ebook, Black Death and the Abrupt Earth Changes of the 14th Century. A stellar read. I read it cover to cover. I was enthralled by the information. All these references and they got pieced together so well. And then looking at today's world, moving forward with what happened during this 14th century, the only thing we're really missing is the comets that were spoken of, the arrows, if you will, that brought upon the plagues. It's really interesting, the correlation between today's amplification and the weather changes we're seeing and what they spoke about in the 14th century. It's nearly identical. And just a fun fact here for you, CO2, a trace gas in the atmosphere, it's only one third of 1%. So let's break this down. Left side, you're going to see where it says entire atmosphere. If you go up to the right corner in that, you'll see that little tiny yellow square. That's all the CO2 that's in our atmosphere. Enlarge that so you can actually take a look and see the components of the CO2 activity only 3.4% of that is human-caused activity. So when you break it down, that little black square there is all the human influence there is. The rest of it's natural, insects, forest fires, just things that go on, whatever it might be. And they keep trying to blame this CO2 on you. But that was the excuse that that was getting ready. So when you saw these changes in the climate, there would be an excuse for it happening. The powers that be over the last 30 years knew this grand solar minimum was going to intensify to this point, and it's turning on right now. They had to have an excuse for you as when you saw the weather changes in front of you, so they invented CO2. They wouldn't want you to pull your funds out of the bank, the stock market, your IRAs, CDs, whatever, it bonds, because that might disrupt the entire financial system if you got that money out to prepare. And this chart pretty much says it all. The hoax that was given to you to explain the grand solar minimum is right here. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 and I'll keep more ideas like this coming to you. And you can also support me on Patreon.